All right, everyone, welcome back to Mastery Mayhem. Today we are going to install a large doggy door. Thanks for joining us. Let's get to it. All right, so this large doggy door is by Ideal Pet Products. This is Rough Weather All Climate Extra Large Pet Door. It's an energy saver series. So it's a dual flap design, withstands winds up to 30 miles per hour and it's uh, good for all breeds and it's uh, for the extra large dogs and the reason we got this one because it's got a lot of rave reviews and I'm going to install this one on the right side of the door it'll stay away from blocking the dryer door and further away closer to the hinges so let's go ahead and get started get this thing done instruction diagram and then it has some scan codes for broken glass missing or defective parts it's a warning paper there should be pretty simple that's what I think every time before I start a project and uh, sometimes it doesn't turn out that way. Uh, by the way, I'm filming this video on the front facing camera of the new iPhone 12 Pro. In case anyone is wondering, I'm just going to start to implement my iPhone 12 Pro in more of my videos if possible. I'll have the link in the description below on that phone. Or no, I won't because they're not out yet. Okay, so this is the closing door panel here that it comes with. And then it has one front side and one back side panel and I'll show you guys how to install those. Oh and just be careful it looks like some of the hardware is hidden up in the channel of one of the plates there. Yeah so this is the uh, flimsy template so we'll use that here in a second. So the inner one is the one that gets the plastic flap door. This is the outer frame. Now basically the outer frame is the one that has the pre-drilled holes with the um, threaded inserts. The screws go through the inner frame and then they attach to the outer frame after we do the cutout. It's these four bolts that go all the way through. So under no circumstances should you should the bottom edge of the template cutout be less than four inches from the bottom of the edge of your door. So I'll just mark it at five inches and, and then outline the pet door opening. Use a pencil to draw the inside edge of the template onto the door. Mark the four half inch diameter outer door screw holes. I'm going to show you guys my uh, Dixon Reach Pencil. This is amazing. This is the best pencil I've This is the only pencil I use now because it can reach into deep holes if you need to mark. As you can see, it's a nice solid lead rod there. And you can pop, put it away in your pocket, whatever, your shirt. It's perfect. And it comes with an extra 12 count lead rods. Okay, we marked it at 5 inches. Now we're going to take this template and we're gonna make it as level as we can. Just get some masking tape here, and you definitely wanna have a level. All right, we got the bottom part pretty level and pretty center here. Uh, we'll get the size taped on, up there and we'll try to make it as flat as possible. There we go, we'll check make sure it's level one more time. And it looks good, my friends. Okay, I'll try to stay out of the way as much as I can. Basically, you just mark four circles here, and then it says to trace out the inside edges. And there you go. Let's go on to the next step. The last thing to mark is the 3 8 inch diameter starter starter point holes, and that way you can use your jigsaw at the starting points of the 3 8 inch holes here that we're going to mark. After you have everything marked, it says to just remove the template. All the marks are there, so definitely make them dark enough so you can see them once the template is removed. So the two smaller holes are drilled with 3 8 inch bits. I have my Hercules bit set from uh, Harbor Freight. I love these guys. These guys drill through metal, plastic, and wood. Grab the 3 8 bit there. Definitely put on your safety goggles. Alright, that's the two 3 8 inch holes. Now we're going to do the two half inch holes or the four half inch holes on the corners. Okay, so ours is a metal door. Whether you have wood or metal, just keep in mind you may need a different kind of bit, but multi material bits out there that do wood, plastic, and metal. So we got all six holes drilled out. The instruction says that there's four small holes, so I'm going to drill two more just to help me with the cutout. Alright, so with my jigsaw, I'm going to cut the inside 
metal piece here first and then I'll go on the outside. All right, so I got my jigsaw, my rigid jigsaw here. I got it ready. Let's go ahead and do it. Sorry if I'm in the way, but uh, I'll see what I can do to stay out of the way as much as possible. We'll have to go inside and outside to do this cutout. All right, we got it cut all the way around. So now we're just gonna take this plate off and go from there. All right, so I'm just gonna cut out this foam for the break off blade knife. Okay, so clean away as much of the foam as you can. So I marked out the outside with the template. We already had our pre-drilled holes from the inside. So that's how we kind of know exactly where to put this mark and as you can see there it's actually quite a bit lower and if I need to cut away or fine-tune a little bit it's better to have too much than not enough okay so now that we got the inside and the outside cut we should be able to fit the outside and the inside together the outside panel has the pre-threaded metal inserts inside the plastic housing there. The inside one has the guide holes for the bolts to go through to meet the outside, the outside piece there. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is put, I'm gonna put a few pieces of tape to hold it onto the door on the outside. So we just need to line up the holes here. Okay, then you just make sure that the holes line up, at least on one corner. As long as we can get a few threads. And we got a few threads there. Pretty awesome. Yeah, and you can reach through if you need to squeeze them together, line them up a bit. And there you go. So this is the cover if you just want it to be closed off for a while. Doggy door is installed and this has a latch here to release, to remove it completely if you like. Also make sure that the uh, badging is facing downward. Let me show you guys the outside, how it has a seal on the outside. It's like a rubber weather seal. All right, so as you guys see here, there's that little gap that I was talking about. Just get some 100% silicone. Fill it up and you're good to go. Yeah, so you don't need to do this if if you don't if you have a flat door. Um, if you don't, then definitely fill this gap up with some 100% silicone. Okay, then get this second one. It's not as easy to do it with the camera in your left hand and looking through the camera, but something like that. That'll keep the water from getting in there, and you're gonna be good to go. Okay guys, so that's it. The doggy door is done. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. I hope this video was helpful and encouraging uh, for you if you guys decide to put in a doggy door in your home. Hopefully this video helped uh, encourage you and embolden you to be able to do it on your own and not, not hire someone. But you can do that as well. You can always hire me if you're in Texas or at least in the San Antonio, Austin Temple area. We're going to train our dogs to go through them because they've never done it before, so I'm sure that's going to be fun. Please remember to like, share, comment, click the notification bell because I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out. Um, and definitely please subscribe. That's going to help me grow and learn and make better videos and just make videos that are helpful to you guys, whether it's concerning tech tools, DIYs, and deals. Um, I'm going to keep improving those videos for you guys. So once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in to Mastering Mayhem. And until next time, I only hope all the best for you and yours.